Welcome to Rooney Art. This is Rooney. I'd like to take a moment to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate your support. I love what I do and I'm so glad that I can share it with you all. Now, before I get emotional, today I'm drawing my character Chanterelle. If you're thinking that that sounds like a mushroom, you would be right. Have some XP. It is a mushroom, specifically this mushroom. I run a Cypher System horror space campaign for my partner, my sister, and our friends. Hi guys, I know you're watching. In this campaign, the crew explores planets and discover new species. I design and create all the planets, plants, animals, and intelligent species in this game. They came across a group of mushroom people, which I designed, and I absolutely love them. <laughs> to tell you a little about the mushroom people, they are very slow to age, and there is only one queen at a time. This is Chanterelle. She is the only one who can make pure blood mushroom people, who are known as redcaps when they're young. There are three types of mushroom people. There is the queen subspecies, which only a queen can make. There are followers, which start their life as little redcaps, and they live to serve the queen as adults. These followers have an opportunity to spread their species through their ability to spore which they use to infect other species with mushroom spores to turn them towards their cause. Converted are the last type of these species, which are those infected with spores. They appear as their original species, but have jet black eyes like the mushroom people. They are very obedient and wish to prove themselves, but can be unpredictable. They are able to infect others through contact with bodily fluids. The further they get from the original source, the harder they are to control. Converted who have never been to the mushroom home planet have an unstoppable urge to do something for a planet they don't know and have no idea what action will help. They can be very volatile and accidentally threaten other pure blood mushroom people which are hiding in society. Pure blood mushrooms use disguises to hide themselves in plain sight. They are able to attach things to their mushroom flesh which will be secured there. This means they can have hair, fur, or feathers. They can also attach body parts of other species, like the mantle of a jellyfish person or the tail of a dog person. They can take the claws of a crab or cover themselves in flowers. They are very adaptable and can hide almost anywhere. Despite their external appearance, they are not able to adapt to the original species they're trying to masquerade as. So for instance, if they were to disguise themselves as a jellyfish person, they would not be able to return to the jellyfish homeworld because it is completely covered in water and mushrooms are so dense they're not able to float or swim. The crew is very afraid of the mushrooms, but they also didn't realize how close they were. Their crew member, a linoid or jellyfish person, was revealed to be a mushroom person. They had borrowed the very much attached mantle of a jellyfish to hide their identity. Not only was it a mushroom person, but it was the next in line to take over from Chanterelle. Chanterelle is in a bad situation. The mushroom planet is orbiting a dying star which has no more heat to give. The planet is the closest to the star, and the planet which is on the outer orbit is already frozen solid. Though the mushrooms can exist in cold climates, the freezing conditions would affect their already slow growth rate. Chanterelle has a yellow crown as the queen. It grows when the old queen dies and the succession continues. When their parent died, they were crowned while they were still quite young and inexperienced. Though she is trying to do what's best for her people, she is being very aggressive and has now made enemies she can't afford. While we're on the topic of Chanterelle, I'd like to talk about this art piece a little bit. I really wanted to try something different which was to start with the background, a very dark background, and build the character on top of the background instead of doing what I usually do and draw the lines and then fill in the character and then put them into a background. I really wanted to see if I could challenge myself to do it a little bit differently and if it would give me a different result. I do feel like it affected the way that I used the colours to make them fit in the background a little bit better, but I do feel like I kind of chickened out a little about halfway through where I wasn't comfortable and I didn't know how to fix it. So I just started doing things that were very normal for me. And I don't know if I really managed to get 
what I wanted out of this piece but I do like the outcome I think it looks creepy and dark and that's what I was going for but I feel like I could have done better if I knew how to do this method a little bit more effectively when it comes to the mushrooms, I use words like queen and princess, but these creatures do not have a gender. They mimic the genders of other creatures and things which are sexually attractive to other humanoid species in order to spread their reach. They have a strong hierarchy and a far reach, which makes them a force to be reckoned with, but not the worst thing out there. If you find yourself feeling uncomfortable, um, they are for a horror space campaign and they are supposed to make you feel uncomfortable. I am proud of this thing that I've created and how well it fits into the world that I've made and I'm so happy to be sharing this with you. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up to support the channel, subscribe to see more content and I hope you have a magical day.